Hi, I'm Laurel Tylus, and I'm here today on the Gift and Home channel to give you some ideas about how you can grow your business without paying a lot of money. And one way is to get the word out through networking. Networking is a great way to meet new people and get more business. Make sure that you remember that networking is a two-way street. You're connecting with other people for mutual benefit. And you know what? You already have a network. You just have to work on yours. Think about your friends and family, your coworkers and former coworkers. How about the people you went to school with? And then there are the parents of your children's friends, as well as the people you deal with on a daily basis, like the butcher, the baker, the hardware store man. They're all part of your network, so why not take advantage of that and tell them what you need? But because networking is reciprocal, if you're asking for something, you have to give something back. Maybe a favor, maybe a contact name, or how about offering them a cup of coffee? That's a good way of saying, I appreciate what you're doing for me. You also want to make sure that you're clear and interesting in describing yourself and your business. And you want to be just as clear and interesting in talking about the groups that you're prospecting for or the people that you're prospecting for. You may be looking for groups from the DAR to the B'nai B'rith, or you may be looking for people who are in complementary industries. For example, if you own a giftware store, you're looking for florists, you're looking for caterers, you're looking for party planners, you're looking for people who, executive assistants, who are always buying gifts for people in the company. You get comfortable with networking by beginning at the beginning, by starting with your friends and family. And that's where you make your mistakes, so that when you're ready to go forward and go to other groups of people, you're really comfortable working your way up to your current customers, who obviously like you because they're doing business with you, or your former customers. And how about going to the people you buy from? It's in their interest to help you grow your business so they will get more business. And another way to grow business is through using the web. A wonderful new way that allows us to meet more people is social networking. Think about websites like MySpace or Facebook or LinkedIn, all totally free and all available to help you meet other people. What you do is you sign up and you allow the website to go into your email and it will send an email to everyone on your list asking if they want to be linked to you. You also put in information about where you went to school and they'll, send, they'll check their database and find people who went to the same school at approximately the same time. And they'll do the same thing for former companies that you worked at. So you grow this list enormously. You grow it virally. After you reestablish the relationship, you can ask your friends or family or people you've reconnected with for links or introductions to their friends and people on their list, which again allows you to grow your business. But even though these sites speed up communication, you still have to meet with people in person to really make networking work. What social networking does is it, it gives you the cha and the cha-cha-cha. It allows you to get onto the dance floor, but you're not really moving until you meet with people. So you have to go to lectures and luncheons and visit trade shows. And those are all opportunities to have face time with other people that will help you grow your business. I'm really happy that I had this face time here today with you. I'm Laurel Tylus. I'm speaking to you on the Gift and Home channel. And until I'm back here, please visit me at laureltylus.com. Thank you.